So we have talked in detail in the previous sections about protons and neutrons. And in the last few sections, what we are going to spend our time on is a discussion of electrons. So let's talk about electrons now. As a refresher, I have told you that protons, these red circles, have uh, an electrical charge of plus one, so they have a positive electrical charge. The neutrons have no electrical charge, and each electron has an opposite electrical charge of the proton. So the proton is plus one, each electron has an electrical charge of minus one. Given that information, here's the first question. And again, you can pause at the end of the question to try and think about this. What is the total electrical charge of this entire atom here? What's the total charge? You can pause now. And the way to answer this question is you have to count up the total number of positive charges from the protons, and you have to count up the total number of negative charges from the electrons. In the case of this atom, it has two positive charges and one, two, three negative charges. So the total electrical charge is plus two, and uh, we're basically adding plus two to minus one, two, three. And so two plus negative three will equal minus one. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the total electrical charge in this atom is negative one, because this atom has two positive charges and, and one, two, three negative charges. We're going to do these types of uh, questions uh, fairly extensively for the next few slides. Here's another atom, and same type of question. What's the total electrical charge of this atom? And you can pause and think about this. Basically, the way to think about this is the same thing. You count the number of positive charges from the proton, so plus one, plus two, and then you subtract away, or, or you uh, count the number of electrons, and each one is a negative charge, and you take that away from the total number of positives. So plus two, uh, take away one, is plus one, and take away another one, is zero. So the total electrical charge of this atom is zero. So you could say that this atom is electrically neutral. Here's a different atom. What's the total electrical charge of this one? And you can pause again and think about it. <clears throat> In this case, this atom has two positive charges and one negative charge. So 2 plus negative 1 is equal to positive 1. So this particular atom has an electrical charge of positive 1. What about this atom? Now, I've taken away the electron that was over here. What's the electrical charge of this atom? And you can pause. And basically the answer is that this has uh, two protons, so a charge of plus two. And it has zero electrons, so the answer is a little bit easier to compute. The total charge of this atom is positive two. <clears throat> The punchline here is that you can figure out the total electrical charge of an atom by counting the protons, counting the electrons, and taking the difference. And so uh, I will need you to do this uh, fairly comprehensively throughout the, at least throughout the rest of this chapter and um, onward for, for other portions of the course. Another uh, term that I want you to know is that any atom or group of atoms that has an electrical charge is called an ion. So I want you to know what an ion is. It's either an atom or a group of atoms that has an electrical charge, either a positive electrical charge or a negative electrical charge. If you have an atom or a group of atoms that has a positive electrical charge, then that atom or group of atoms is called a cation. I'm just emphasizing cat there. Um, if you have an atom or group of atoms that has a negative electrical charge, then that atom or group of atoms is called an anion. So an ion is any atom or group of atoms that has an electrical charge, and it can be either positive or negative. A cation is an atom or group of atoms that has a positive electrical charge, and an anion is an atom or group of atoms that has a negative electrical charge. Now I want you to know all three of these terms over here. In this case, this particular atom is a cation.